Hi guys, welcome back. Hope everyone's having a fantastic day. Hello. Hello. So we are super excited because we have a very fun Valentine's Day idea for you. And it's going to be very simple, but very romantic. Ooh. Ooh. Romance. <laughs> <laughs> so we want to do a little brunch breakfast bar. So we're going to start off with some waffles. I freaking love waffles. And we have heart-shaped ones. They're going to be pretty freaking cool for Valentine's Day, guys. And we're going to be making four different types. So we got strawberry, chocolate chip, blueberry, and original. Well, or regular. Whatever regular. you want to say. No toppings. No kind. toppings kind. <laughs> so I'm going to start off by cutting up the fruit for a beautiful fun fruit salad. And I'm going to be making the pancake mix the easy part. Let's get started. Okay guys, so I have my fun little fruit and veggie cutters here. I have some little fun flowers, some hearts all different sizes, a little star for fun, and a dinosaur that Kanoi picked out, so. <laughs> I think it's super cute, look at it. That is look very, cute very this cute. this little dinosaur is. We'll be using it today. Maybe I'll do like a pineapple or a watermelon. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on cutting my fruit. Okay guys, so as you probably saw, my lovely Kanoi started helping me out with the fruit, which I appreciate. Love you so much, babe. Love you too. Look how beautiful this came out. All the fun shapes, stars, dinosaurs, mm -hmm. <laughs> hearts, mm -hmm. flowers. Oh, it's super, super cute. Um, we do have some berries that we're also going to want to throw into our little fruit salad. We have blackberries, blueberries, and raspberries. So let me go ahead and pop a few of those in the salad. Oh, beautiful. And I think the blueberries are just gonna help give it a beautiful little pop of color as well. And now you can go ahead and use like a spoon or whatever, but I'm just gonna give this a nice little stir. Just a little gently, because I don't wanna mess up our beautiful shapes that we made. This, you guys, can you even deal? I cannot, look at my beautiful salad. Let's get working on Kenoi's waffle mix. All right, guys, time to make this batter. So I'm just gonna eyeball it. Usually I measure, but this time I'm, I'm just gonna eyeball it. Measure with your heart, Kenoi. <laughs> <laughs> it's very unusual for me not to measure. Right, babe? Right. Mm. Kenoi's very precise on all his recipes, which is probably why they turn out amazing in all honesty, but. You stop it. You stop it. And then we are using pancake mix. I know that they have waffle mix, but it does the same thing. So really, pancake mix, waffle mix, whatever you'd like. We want it like thin, but not too thin. We want it like right in the middle of thick and thin. Thick. T-H-I-C-C. This is perfect. So as you can see, it has like a it's not like super clumpy and it's not super thick either. This is exactly what we're looking for. And we are going to pour it into a squeezy bottle. All right guys, so this is our lovely waffle maker. Michelle found this online on Amazon and I have to be honest, I freaking love it. I love the heart shapes and everything in it. So right now I am buttering our waffle maker because we don't have spray right now <laughs> which is totally fine this is a good alternative what I do is I dip the paper towel in butter and then just move it around let it melt on its own you know let it do its thing but I do want to make sure I get the top and the bottom making sure not to miss anything okay that way your waffles don't stick. And they could have that nice buttery flavor all over them. All right guys, it is time to do our mix. So we're just gonna go ahead and put it in there. As you can hear it sizzling in the background. Yum. And that's why we want it a little thin, so that way it could spread nice and evenly. And we can do it fast. Okay, so we are going to add 
some strawberries to these guys. And if you want your strawberries inside the mix, that's okay too. I just like to put it on top. We're going to put blueberries on these ones. Look how yummy that looks. And then we're going to close this and let them cook until the green light shows up. See you guys in a second. All right, guys, and here we go. Look at those lovely waffles. There we go. Look how pretty those are. So we got strawberry and blueberry so far. So let's go ahead and get started with chocolate chip and regular. All right, so chocolate chips for these guys. I like mine really chocolatey. Okay guys, we'll see you when this is done. All right, guys, we are done. And look at those cute little hearts. So we got two of the regular. And we got two of the chocolate chip. Nice. All right, guys, as you can see, these are our lovely waffles. Look how cute they are. What do you think, babe? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to dig in. Well, I want to decorate my mouth, but then I want to dig in. I'm so excited. So we have some berries, so let's start decorating. I'm going to do some blackberries. I'm going to do some blueberries here and there. Some raspberries. As you can see, it's definitely my OCD kicking in right now. <laughs> and I need a raspberry on this side, too. Can I look how different our plates are? Yours are like spread. Mine's like right here in the center. <laughs> I was getting to it. Perhaps All right. I, uh, there you go. Yeah, look how pretty. Okay, I want to do some sugar, some powdered sugar. Some powdered sugar. Yes. Ooh. So let's go ahead and add some sugar here. Just like snow. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. How is that? Do you want oh some more? Oh my goodness, y'all have a little bit more. Put some more on these guys back here. They look like they need some loving. Look, it snowed. Look how pretty these look. Oh my goodness. Okay guys, I have one more thing we're going to add before we start indulging in this. So no breakfast brunch is complete without Champagne. I'm just kidding. Mimosas. But yes, champagne. So I have my big old jug here, and we are going to make a beautiful jug of mimosas. There we go. And pop bottles. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm back. So let me show you how I make my mimosa. Okay, like I said, I have my jug here, a mason jar jug. Mason jar jug, lol. I have some barefoot bubbly here that can I opened and some home style some pulp orange juice some pulp some pulp <laughs> nice good shake to the orange juice and then the best part Ooh, look at that fizz and I'm basically gonna use that whole bottle let that go down just a little bit and then I'll use like the remaining a little bit we have left. Full transparency, you guys, we like to taste the champagne and the mimosas. So make the mimosas to your liking if you like more juice, if you like more champagne. We like the champagnes around here. We like the bottomless mimosas. We stan it. You're gonna grab your cute little mason jar with your cute little garnish. Can you even do? I can't. And we're just gonna pour it on in. My goodness, get out of here. This looks beautiful. Let's do our next one. And these cups are each 16 ounces, so it's a good amount of mimosa for me and Kanoi. Look how beautiful this setup is. Nice. 
What do you think, babe? Did we do good? Gosh, guys, look how romantic this is. Your little candle here. Your beautiful mimosa. Your beautiful a fruit salad. And these gorgeous waffles. Like, how romantic. Okay, guys, so we have our beautiful waffles done. Mimosa's ready to go. And our beautiful a fruit salad, as you saw in our little up close video, can always put in some whipped cream. Actually, I'll take some whipped cream too. Mm. Is that it, or did you want more? That's good, thank you. Okay. I want to eat my waffles, not whipped cream. I don't know about you, but <laughs> you guys, I love you. you guys, his whole plate has whipped cream. Like the whole plate does, seriously. I don't know what she's talking about. I was just thinking. Would it you like some waffles pretty. with that whipped cream? Yes. Okay. Okay. Listen, I take my whipped cream seriously okay oh that's good um i hope you guys enjoyed this fun brunch valentine's day video if you try this out with your significant other go ahead and leave it in the comments your loved one your dog maybe whatever make sure to give a like make sure to subscribe to the channel yep and we will see you guys next time on our next valentine's day themed video see ya bye bye Okay guys, so you saw our waffles, our fruit salad, our freaking mimosas that I cannot wait to dig into. This has been so fun to create. It's super easy, but really romantic. <laughs> <laughs>